Let's train YOLO V8 instance segmentation models. Hey there, welcome to Learn Open CV. In this video, we will check out the trash can data set and train the Ultralytics YOLO V8 segmentation models on it. The data set consists of underwater imagery to detect and segment trash in and around the ocean flow. We'll be using the material version of the data set as it has fewer classes. It is made up of 6,008 images in the train split and 1,204 images in the validation split and is made up of 16 classes. The annotations were originally in JSON format, but we have cleaned and converted them to YOLO format. A YOLO box label is represented by class label X center Y center width and height of the bounding box in a normalized format. But how do we represent mask labels? Let's understand with an example. The first five numbers still encode the class label and the box information, but from the sixth number onwards, each subsequent pair represents a pair of space-separated XY coordinates forming the boundary points of the object we aim to segment. Anyway, now let's head to the notebook and train YOLO V8 segmentation models. We are going to download the dataset, set a few hyperparameters, and fine-tune nano, small, and medium ultralytics YOLO V8 models. We'll also run image and video inference using the fine-tuned model to check the result. If you like our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. We'll start by checking the GPU we are using and mounting the Google Drive. We are using NVIDIA A100 GPU. Our first and only requirement is Ultralytics. Let's install that. Then we start importing all the libraries. Requests and zip file to download and extract the dataset. OS and Glob are used to get the file paths. CV2 is used to draw over images and matplotlib plots the images. And Random and NumPy are used for math operations. Next, we have two functions, download file and unzip, that will download and extract the dataset. We call these two functions to download our dataset. Next, we create a YAML file which is needed during training. The file will consist of dataset paths and dataset label. Then we dump the contents to a YAML file. Finally, before we start training the segmentation models, we will set three hyperparameters. These will remain constant throughout our experimentation. We will set the number of training epochs to five, batch size to 16, and input image size to the model as 640. This means that the model will iterate over the complete training set five times with 16 images being input to the model, all resized to 640 pixels before updating the model parameters. For the sake of this video, we'll be training the model for five epochs. Now on to the model training. We'll be using the YOLO CLI. It inputs multiple arguments. Let's check all of them. First and foremost, we need to define the task and the mode. The task being segment, classify, etc. And the mode being train, validation or others. It also accepts images, epochs and batch, which are the hyperparameters which we have already discussed. The dataset YAML file goes to the data source and finally, we give a name to the experiment where all the model files and logs will be stored. YOLO V8 will create the directory named YOLO V8 N seg and not create a new directory if it already exists because of exists OK true. EMP stands for Automatic Mixed Precision. We have turned it off as some GPUs may not support it. Let's take a look at the output log now. It first downloads the model and then prints the environment and training configuration. Arial.ttf is a font. It is used to draw the object labels on the image. Model.yaml file then overrides the label names and we see the YOLO V8 nano segmentation model architecture. It has around 3.2 million parameters. Ultralytics will also clean the dataset labels for us. That's what the warnings are. And albumentations are used for augmentations. Label.jpg shows the analysis of the dataset. We can infer that the data is more biased towards labels ROV, trash ETC, trash metal, and trash plastic. YOLO V8 uses an adaptive optimizer, Adam W, which results in better generalization than Adam. Learn about optimizers and more advanced topics in our detailed courses, Deep Learning with TensorFlow and Keras, and 
deep learning with pytorch finally the model starts training it prints the current epoch gpu memory used various losses the number of instances for the current epoch and prints a verbose output after each epoch the model will be evaluated over the validation split it prints various metrics for both box and mask after the last epoch the best model is evaluated over the validation set and prints metrics for each label similarly we can train the small and medium models by changing the input model for training and the experiment name we have separately trained the models for 100 epochs we'll use these models to run inference and check results over some test data let's start by downloading and unzipping the test set the function visualize will randomly plot four images from the result directory now let's run prediction we use the same yolo cli with the mode as predict but this time we will be passing the best yolo v8 medium model that we had trained for 100 epochs and the source files are going to be the validation images from the data set we save the results back to the yolo vm predict directory the code cell will output the image index and the part to the image followed by the input image size the number of detections in the image and the time taken to process over the images this is the average speed to pre process infer and post process over the images if we pass the results directory to the visualize function it displays the resultant images finally let's run inference over a video so that's how you train yolo v8 instance segmentation models on a custom data set if you like this video Why don't you try fine tuning Yolo V8 detection models over a custom data set? Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.